Hello guys, this is Johan Forsblom and welcome to this tutorial. Today we are going to initialize SDL and uh, put a color on the screen. So we will start by adding new, two new files to the project here. It's going to be the renderer. I'm going to put it in the source folder here as well. So make sure you're there and click save. Okay. Add another empty file in the source folder and renderer.c. So we start by adding the header guards. If not defined, render it h here, and we add it in here. We're also gonna need uh, to define for the window height and width. Window width. It's going to be 1280, define window height, 720. We just need something to, for starters, we can put this in a config file later and, and then later we'll modify that through settings and stuff in the, in the game. But for now, this is the beginning series, so we're going to write everything and keep it simple. So we need renderer. And here we want to put in the window caption as well. That's the old renderer, and we want to have um, get renderer here. And that's the other window. Get window. Like so. And we can also include uh, that's the other here. Make sure it, it will find the uh, SDL stuff here. And we're also going to need a uh, close renderer here. So we can copy this guy here to renderer. And we're also going to need the SDL here. So we can copy that over immediately as well. Oops. There we go. And we are going to include <coughs> as to the IO and the standard lib as well. And our renderer file here. So we're going to add uh, the renderer and the window here. And there goes both going to be no initially here and they're static so they're only accessible within this C file here and uh, as I try to initialize or right, create a window the window will be stl underscore create window here and the window caption and uh, here we want to put in the SDL window position centered. Copy that. This is for the both X and Y. So we put in it for the X and the Y. And here we throw in the window width and the window height. Like so. And finally, we want to have it SDL underscore window resizable. So we can change the size of the window if we want to. equals no oh sorry I forgot to have this one here <laughs> renderer and uh, window like so if the window is no we're gonna go with f printf and to the standard error here and I'm gonna write failed and the nice message with why we failed is good to have as well. And that's the L get error. And we will exit the program if this happens. And then we will try to create the render. That's the L 
create renderer. Pass in the window here. And then minus one. We don't care about an index for now. And SDL renderer. And we have accelerator accelerated, so we will use the graphics card when we are rendering. And we want to have it. Oh, come on, it's one top of that. I want to have a target textured and percent at vertical sync. So that means that it will be synced to the monitor. And if we fail the initialization, we're going to do the same thing as we did up here. And we're just gonna switch, change one word in here, and that's they will say SDL cre create renderer instead, and that should be it for that. And uh, renderer will simply return the render in here. And the window will and the window will get window will return the window, and to close the render, we're gonna call SDL destroy renderer. And the renderer. And we will destroy the window as well. As such. So what we can do as well to make it a little bit more nice is to put in the destroy window here. Because if we got here, the window was created. So we can destroy it and free the memory for that. And exit like so. So this is the renderer part. And now we're going to add a new file. Two new files again in the source folder here and it's going to be init close sdl c file and add a second file here just click on that and you can type dot h and click save and uh, we have the header guard here Here we have two functions, uh, void init sdl basically, and char window caption. I will add void close down, close down sdl, like so. You can copy these guys now and you can go to C file, store them in here. And here we want to have some includes. So you can copy some over from the renderer here. We're going to have these guys. In here. And also the uh, init close STL file. Try to initialize STL video. And here's the seven things you can initialize. We're gonna we wanna set up the video now. And if this is less than zero, we're gonna put it to F print F here. We can just copy that from here. And say that uh, could not initialize STL. And we get the STL error there, good, and exit. And then we'll try to initialize the STL image. And this is a bit different, there's an IMG in it. And we also have to include uh, STL2. That's the underscore image here. Image in it, and we want to have flags, and we're going to check if the AMV image 
PNG. You can use uh, use different ones here. JPEG, PNG, TIFF, WebP. But yeah, I'm only using PNG for the projects. And I'm in it PNG here. Make sure that that is set. If <clears throat> that is not set. F print F. You want to say put it as SDR and. Copy those guys, that's quicker. That's the only image. And here we have to change to IMG for image get error instead. And to make things better, we can put in a stale quit here to free the memory for the initialization we've done. And kick that in there if that happens. And here we will, if this. Uh, all went okay to render and here we throw in the window caption as well like so and we are closing down SDL we will close renderer and we will call IMG quit and we also call SDL quit Like so, so let me show this is building now. Yeah, we have undefined references here. I'm gonna fix that in a, a small while. Uh, but now we're also going to change a few things in the main here. Wanna have STL. And wanna have uh, close and we want to have the render as well like so and we put in a local global variable here and program and we're gonna write a simple void and input here that's gonna be called in the while loop because we either we want to display the screen until the, the player or sorry, the user or player would no matter uh, closes the window or presses escape. So we're gonna add an SDL event here. And while SDL poll events, if we check if an event has occurred, I want to switch the event dot type here. Want to know what kind of event is taking place, and if it was the SDL quit event, that means the user will click the X on the on this on the in the corner of the window, and then we will just set say the M program equal to one. In case we have SDL up we're gonna have the default break here as well and for the key up we're gonna switch in the event dot key dot key sim dot sim here and if this was case that's the okay underscore Escape here. If the escape key was pressed, we want to add the program here as well. Break and have a default break right here. And we want to have a, this simple put the color on the screen so you can just say draw blue screen. break here my photo need a little bit of help here quickly and then set under the render draw color every type we get renderer and uh, we just put in zero zero 
And this is maximum for the blue. Maximum for the alpha. That's the L. Render clear. Yep, render. So we'll get what this does, the render clear will we'll clear the screen. Also, we we'll clear the renderer with whatever color we have set as a render draw color. And we we'll call SDL render present here. Like so. And in the main, we will simply call in it SDL. The window caption here. We want push bloom and uh, introduction. Introduction. To SDL 2.0. Initialize SDL 2.0 here. And then we will draw the blue screen. And we will wait for the program to end, but the user will. Uh, We'll press a key or click the X uh, button on the window. And here we will just pull handle input here. And in the end, we close down STL. Like so. Now let's see if you have any compiling errors. No. Nope. Now we have to add the libraries, the link to libraries. We go with project and you go to uh, build options. And click on debug, linker settings, and add. The first one to add is lib min gw32. Then we add stl2 to main, and add stl2, and finally stl2 image, underscore image. We're not using the image right now, but we are preparing for the next tutorial where we will simply display a, a bitmap on screen. So when you, once you've done this, you can drag with your uh, left click and drag to select all of them or select the first one and hold down shift and click in the end. To select all of them and copy selected to the release. Click OK. And if you click here, you have, ch have changed some settings. Do you want to sell? Do you want these settings saved? Yes. So now we have these both in the debug and release. So click OK and build. And go okay, build and run. And here we have the blue screen. Now, I'm gonna do this for for the 64-bit as well, so we can stop by switching to the other project here. And right-click and add files, and go to the source folder and you control, hold down control and select new files, and click open. And OK. And if I click build here, we have the same problem that we have undefined references. So we go to project, build options, and you go to debug, linker settings, and add, add the same things here. Libwin GW32, and SDL2 main, SDL2, and finally SDL2 underscore image. Click OK, and build, and build. So, but now we're going to be, this is going to be interesting. So if you give, click build and run here, we will get this nice uh, in init SDL debug application error. The application was unable to start correctly. Click OK, okay to, close, uh, to close the application. So what's going on now is that it can't find the correct DLL files for some strange reason. So I'm going to throw up a couple of windows here and Here we have the first one, our project, and I'm going to go to the C program files and code blocks, or wherever you install your code blocks installation. Then you go to mingw64 and into the x86 underscore 64 w64 mingw32. Then you go into your bin folder. We can click on type here. And in here. You want to copy some of these files here over to your 64-bit bin folder here. So you need four files, the zlib, and you need the stl2 image, underscore image, and uh, you need uh, libpng, and also 
the SDL. Where are you? There you go. And you right-click, copy, and right-click, paste. So if I go build and run now again, it's working. So uh, that's one of the problems I found uh, earlier on, on, on that uh, the 64-bit version is, is screaming because it can't find the correct DLL, DLL files and it, it wasn't really a good error message there. But if as long as you copy in those files to the folder, you're good. And we can do the same thing for for the 32-bit version because when you're going to release your stuff later on you want to have everything in the bin folder so you go to 32 one here and you go back to code blocks mean gw and into the bin folder here i do the same thing the clib stl2 stl2 image and the lib png here I copy those in here now we copy them in, and if I run here, it's going to boot up nicely as well, the 32-bit, so I can run the program from within here now. So this concludes uh, this tutorial. Uh, in the next tutorial, we are going to display an image on the screen. So thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.